If millions of Americans have made deliberate choices to keep loaded and unsecured firearms near their bed, you know, where they may be in reach of children, et cetera, because in practice, it's very, very, very challenging to get access to a firearm out of a gun safe uh, in any sort of real world kind of home invasion situation. Um, at the same time, you know, firearms are now the leading cause of death for children, teenagers in America, and, and a big portion of that is gaining access to firearms in the home, right? Whether it's children with accidents, teenagers using firearms to commit suicide. Th there's a whole bunch of, I think, very challenging and, and hard to address public health issues that stem from this as well. And so when looking at, you know, where do we start? You know, there's, there's lots of applications for smart guns in lots of different places, but when looking at where do we start, I think the biggest unmet need is definitely among folks that are uh, keeping firearms, you know, for home defense, that are looking for fast access, right? Having it always accessible, but always having it be secure from their children. So first process the fingerprint here. And just get a couple good captures. And then same thing with the facial recognition. Key thing is not only is it always locked, but it's also instantly accessible. And so what that means is as soon as the user starts to interact with the firearm, it immediately wakes up, recognizes their biometrics using our garden, Guardian biometric system, uh, and then stays unlocked for as long as they're holding on to it. Um, there's two kind of key biometrics that we've incorporated in the firearm. There's a, a fingerprint sensor, which you can see kind of right here on the side, uh, that basically sits underneath the middle finger of your kind of primary hand. Uh, there's a whole bunch of ergonomics research and everything like that that went into choosing that particular location and positioning and everything like that. The fingerprints, I would say, are great. They're, they're very commercially mature biometric. They're very reliable. Uh, they work in a very wide range of conditions. And especially for um, our kind of home defense focus for this product, uh, we think fingerprints are going to be kind of the primary biometric. They're super fast. They're very reliable. That being said, uh, as anybody that's you know, used a, a, a smartphone knows, there are limitations to fingerprint sensors, right? If you get your hands sufficiently wet or dirty, uh, you're wearing gloves, the fingerprint sensor is, is going to be less functional than we would like. It's not going to see the reliability that we'd like. And so in addition to fingerprints, uh, we've also incorporated a, a state-of-the-art 3D facial recognition system into the firearm. So that kind of sits back here underneath this black glass. Um, and that functions just like a facial recognition system in any sort of modern smartphone um, and basically can recognize your face. Uh, either the fingerprint or the face can unlock the firearm, right? So you don't need both. It's, it's an either or kind of situation. And as soon as you start to interact with it, both of them immediately uh, start trying to recognize your biometrics. I think most people, when they, when they buy a firearm, especially for home defense, they understand that it's a tremendous responsibility bringing that into their house. Nobody wants to see accidents happen. At the same time, they buy it for a very specific purpose. They want it to be readily accessible when they need it and what's, what's probably the worst day of their life. And there haven't been any, really any good solutions for that. So when talking with people, they describe, I can lock this up in a safe, but then it's locked up you know, from the bad guys and from my kids, but also from me too. Um, and so there was definitely this opportunity in the market to to, to really create a safe solution, but was also uh, something that wasn't going to create any extra steps for them. Yeah, we did. There's a, there's a really fun one I like to talk about. I had this idea for um, a grip that was asymmetrical. You know, if we can save one kid's life, I, I think that's a positive impact overall. Um, I think we can have a lot more of an impact than just one kid's life, but even just one kid's life is really important.